participating in the meeting via Zoom. Hello, Hi, Bernie. Hello. Hi, Bernie. <laughs> Can you attend by Zoom? Hi. Good evening, all, uh, and welcome to the reorganization meeting at the Township of Persephone Troy Hills Board of Adjustment. Today is Wednesday, January 12, 2022, and it is 7.35 p.m. With the uh, appointments, reappointments sworn in, the new members, I'm going to open the floor for nominations for chairperson of the Board of Adjustment. Nominate Bob Irkin. Second, Willens. Any other nominations? Nope. You need a motion to close nomination. Mm -hmm. Make a motion to close nomination, pass unanimous ballot. All Second, on Snyder. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Aye. you. All right. Um, I will now open the floor for nominations for vice chairperson of the Board of Adjustment. I nominate David Kaplan. Second, ready. Any other nominations? Motion to close nominations. So moved, Snyder. Second. And at this point, we will let the chairman take over. Was there a vote on the, the vice chair? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we said aye, right? Yeah, yeah oh. we did not. We need to call the roll on the vice chair. All right, I apologize. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we'll over now. okay, so now we need to uh, reaffirm of the, uh, though it says planning board secretary, but the zoning board secretary. I make a motion to reaffirm planning board secretary, uh, excuse me, zoning board secretary Nora Jolie. Second, Joskowitz. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion to, Congratulations. Motion to appoint the planner. <laughs> So move, Snyder. Second, Joskowitz. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. Motion to uh, appoint the engineer, Jazz Holloway. So move, Snyder. Second, Joskowitz. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you. And uh, motion to appoint an attorney. Can can I? Recommend the Peter King. Yes, Second, Second, Second Joskowitz. I nominate Bill, Bill Johnson from Johnson and Johnson. Is there a second? Second, Willens. Any discussion? I think we're going to need a vote. We're need it. You vote on the first. You have paper. You have a paper ballot, uh, Norris. You don't do. You do by uh, okay. in person by roll call. Okay. Do the roll call. Okay, one moment. No, we don't discuss. We don't have to discuss. Berkowitz. Well, this is for, so the first. The first nomination was for Peter for Pete. King. So right. a, a, a vote for yes would be for Peter King. If those votes, if, if uh, Peter King does not get four votes, then that motion uh, would fail, and then you would vote on the um, second nomination, Bill Johnson. Bernie. Did you vote, Bernie? What? Why do I, tell me again what I'm voting for. The, the first nomination was for Peter King. So a yes vote would be for Peter King. A no vote would not be for Peter King. So you're voting for Peter King as the attorney. All right. My vote would be no. Joskowitz. Yes. Kaplan. Yes. Ready. Yes. Snyder. Yes. Willand. They have the four votes, so I'll abstain. Myra King. No vote. I guess that concludes the reorganization meeting. and close that reorganization meeting and open the regular scheduled meeting. So moved, Snyder. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, let's uh, do the point. Uh, 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this point in this evening's meeting, is there any member of the public that has any business to brought to this board that is not on this evening's agenda? I hear none and see none. Bernie, if you need to, if you want to comment on anything, Bernie, then you're going to need to speak out because I'm, I just turned you around so you can, I guess you're facing the ceiling now, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, and how is that? That's better. Good. I can see Frank very well. Good. <laughs> We're going to call a roll? Yes, you can call a roll. Mr. Berkowitz? Here. Mr. Joskowitz? Here. Mr. Kaplan? Here. Mr. Mazzarella? Here. Mr. Freak? Here. Mr. Reddy? Present. Ms. Snyder? Here. Mr. Willens? Here. Chairman Ira Kane? We also have with Present. us. We also have with us our board planner, Mr. Chadwick, our board engineer, Mr. Holloway, and our board attorney, Mr. King. Present. Present here. And Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Chris Mazzarella. Yeah. 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 Did you did, when you called the roll, Nora? Did you call Chris Mazzarella? Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, I, all right. I, then I then uh, Davey's losing his hearing, so that's okay. Well, Okay, um, we have a resolution to vote on application 2159 Tava Pharmaceutical, which was assigned variance. Uh, someone like to move that? So moved. Second, Eddie. Any discussion? Laura, call the roll. Berkowitz. Berkowitz. Bernie. Cheers. Okay. What was that? Okay, Joskowitz. Yes. Kaplan? Yes. Parikh? Yes. Reddy? Yes. Ira King? Yes. Uh, 21-23, 135 North Everbrook Road. Variance for a tutoring and laundromat. Um, someone like to move that? So moved. Second, Joskowitz. Any discussion? Nora, call the roll. Berkowitz? Yes. Joskowitz? Yes. Kaplan? Yes. Parikh? Yes. Reddy? Yes. Snyder? Uh, Nora, did I vote for this, please? Yes, you did. Okay, yes. Thank Williams. you. Yes. Hurricane. Yes. Any other correspondence, Nora? No other correspondence. Hey, Nora, when is the uh, used car lot on? It's supposed to be next uh, Wednesday. I'm not next Wednesday. Next uh, meeting. I have not heard from them. Next meeting? They have only a couple more days to get anything in. However, uh, there's an escrow issue. And have you contacted Mr. O'Neill? And I'm going to have to contact him, and he's not staying on top of his client. So. He doesn't know anything about it. No, he does know. He does know. He knows he has to get uh, revised plans in, and he knows about the escrow. It was sent to him. That's Zoom, right? Yeah, it's annoying. Very, very annoying. We've been dealing with this long. I was going to say, that's cars in the street. We got to hear that. Cars in the street. Yeah. Cars are in the street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was time there. All right, so let's go to the agenda. Uh, application 2122, Susan Perfaro, tenant. Seeking C variants to legalize a carport tent like structure for storage. I went by this property today. Ms. Who's going to uh, provide testimony? Just you. Okay, if you could raise your right hand, you swear from testimony about the board to help you got. And for the record, can you state and spell your name? And you're the owner of the subject property, 81 Fox Hill Road? No, we're the tenant. Okay, tenant. And you have the... Um, the, the owner has given you permission to make yes, this application. He provided uh, Nora with a letter of permission prior uh, to us even leasing the property. Thank you. You're sworn, so you can have a seat. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, there's there's an issue, I guess, before the, you know, the board starts. There's an issue about the application. 
there's an encroachment into the into the right of way of the of the towns. It's not even the jurisdiction of this board because we cannot give that relief. The the um the tent storage tent is uh, almost 25 feet beyond from the the line of the street back. So there's it's set back 25 feet. Your survey shows it in the street. Oh no. No, the, sir, the what you're, under, you're misunderstanding. The edge of the road is not the property line. Oh. That's just the edge of the road. So the property line is probably 15 or more feet inside of that. Okay. And that's where the public right of way ends. And your survey that you submitted shows the uh, hoop house uh, in the street. And what Pete King just said to you was the zoning board can't grant in the public right of way. So, kind of a. Uh, but it's 25 feet. Did, you, did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. I the fact that the road, the actual pavement, I mean, there are cases in precipity in some of the older areas that the street and the right of way don't match. The whole road's out of the street, physical road is not even in the right of ways. In your case, the physical road is quite a ways away from the property line. So it, I don't doubt you that there's 25 feet of space between the edge of the road and your tent, but that you need to explain to the uh, council in order that they say, okay, we'll give you a lease or whatever they do. I mean, I, they may not. They may just say, no, get it out of the street. But we can't do that. And, and if we go and if we issue a decision today, then you can never come back here. Oh, I see. What is not on the street? It, so, so Did it's, you in the, it's in the right of way. So it's you, not in the right of way. It, it, but on your application, it shows that it's in the, in the right. red one. Well, that's what the board has before it, and and with this application and with this, uh, you know, d document, it shows that it is in the right of way. Okay. So you have to understand that's not our problem. Um, what is? Tell, tell me what's in the tent that's so important you have to keep on your property. The house does not have any storage. No closets, no basement, no attic, no full space, nothing. So when I went to lease this property, we paid additional uh, money to uh, lease the space across the street, uh, which happens to be uh, owned by the same landlord. And that property was leased for six years by us. Uh, so we could put a storage tent on, on that property. So, so, so can I, excuse, excuse me. Oh, you didn't answer the question. What do you keep in there? Christmas uh, uh, items, uh, clothes. Um, well, do, you, do you, I mean, do you, do you, are you, are you aware of the availability of storage facilities in this town? Sure. Where you could go rent a 10 by 10 or a 10 by 15? Well, you because if you're you're not using your Christmas stuff I 50 understand. weeks out of the year if you have winter clothes summer clothes but so let me let me wait, look, can money I wait. when I'm already paying extra money well for that property well and then that's why I lease that property well then I, I that's Mr. I'm, I'm look, sorry look, Mr. That, Mr. Chairman, that has no bearing on my clothes my clothes have no bearing on it okay it's, your, your time now, can I can I ask a question sure. you so when I went to look at this property today I was looking for 81 right that's where you live yeah and the and the storage thing is across the street yeah well yeah so could I just try some here your survey shows one thing and if it's incorrect that's but this board cannot okay 
grant you a variance based on this information we have. That's the point. You're here for us to do something we cannot do tonight. Do you understand it? All right. Okay. Your picture, I see your point. Your picture clearly indicates to me your tent is off the street. Way okay. off the street. Okay. I can see that in picture. Behind the wall. I, Way that's off. fine. It, that, that's not the issue. The issue is based on the property lines, okay? Your tent or whatever it is there is encroaching upon an area that we cannot approve to give you the variance in. Oh, okay. Now, however, Mr. Chairman, the council of the town can do that. Is that true? Or who, who can give them that variance? Or who can give that approval? The, the town would have to. It's their right. It's their easement. Right. Usually it's, it's, it's kept for water, um, sidewalks, yeah. to, to open the road if they need to get an extra lane in there. Okay. So based on what you've shown here, I, you, you don't want us to vote on this tonight because we can't do that, uh, in my opinion. Okay? No. I couldn't vote in favor of it. So could you go back and get the easement someplace else? And if you don't get satisfaction there, maybe yeah. come back here again? I don't know. Instead right? of the variance that I already... Um, no, it's not a variance. Sure. This, this, this document you have. Yes. Who, who drew the tent in on the document? Um. On that, Mr. Saperstein, on this, uh, Michael Saperstein. I. Uh, that's the old. Survey. That's the old. And that survey shows the tent, or did you draw the tent in? Um, I'm not sure. That that particular one was done by the landlord, uh, or uh, not architect, um, by the landlord's um, surveyor. Well, he's showing that he's showing the tent in the right of way, uh -huh. so. But uh, he's uh, passed away now, and it's gone. And we tried to get in touch with that person, but uh, last year. But he, he Mr. King, the photographic there. evidence here, to me, okay, if this picture is correct, that well, that tent is definitely not in the right of way. Well, definitely it, not. So, so you see it, 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 no, it's not in the street. It's not in the street. It's on the street, but the it's street. It's, no, picture no. picture if a, if a um, okay. sidewalk was there. I, I got it. The sidewalk would be the right way. So if they found it had a sidewalk along the side of the street, that's in the right way. Yes. Now I got. It. Do you have it? You understand? What is the the, 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 the right, right of way. That's not the it's on the property right on the back side of the property. Okay. Okay. We don't understand what you're trying to say. We cannot approve the application as presented. So you, you, what you're going to need to do is talk to the town okay, engineer. All right. And ask the town engineer what. Well, we're, the, the secretary, the chairman directs the um, board secretary to talk to um, the uh, zoning officer. She'll advise as to the the issue that we have, and that is, your survey shows that the tent would be in the right of way where a sidewalk would go. So that the town again from the curb into your property, there's a, a right of way. There's a strip of land that's set aside for the town to either increase the road to put another lane. How many feet would that take? Well, I I, I think maybe fit, maybe 15 plus. I again I don't know. We don't know. The, this road was done long before you had uh, probably a planning board in Pacific. Oh. Probably. Yeah, it's a late. And, and the, where the road is placed and where the right of way that the town owns, in modern subdivisions, the road is right in the middle of the road, is 10 feet of of grass on either side to the right-of-way line. In this case, that road is way shifted way over to one side. That's why you think you've got plenty of room in the front. Physically, you have plenty of room in the front, but you don't own it. You can't lease it because it's a public right-of-way. You need to go to the township administrator's office, ask to be put on the council's agenda, explain to them what the problem is and they may or may not say yes you can have this and if they do you're going to wind up with a lease agreement of some sort to encroach in the right of way okay will they have to come back here no yeah, yeah. Well, they will yeah, i think there's a previous right 
Yeah, because there's other variants that are recorded, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yep. Yeah. You just, we, but we could. Utilities on the property, but small amount. It has, has nothing to do with okay. what covers. We utilities. can't deal with the right of way. That's it. It's like the end of the world to the to the zoning board. Well, we're figuring a, a sidewalk would take a maybe five, six feet. Well, that's, we don't you know. Keep, you we keep don't going know. Back your case to that. To them. It, it, it's irrelevant. It's. The I'm space, what the this, right away would be yeah. the what, what's re, what's relevant is the edge of the pavement to the front of your tent, and that you can convince the council that this encroachment is in a public safety hazard. Period. Okay. And let me let me just throw a wild card out to you. After you go through that entire exercise, and you have to come back to us for impervious coverage. You still have to prove your case that you need this tent, okay? This tent, obviously, for uh, we would never have leased this property uh, at all, I, and we were told so, so, from the very beginning. Hold on, all that. We're never going to remember that. Okay. So Whenever you come, yes. to tell us in when we're hearing the case. So we hear the what, facts of the oh, Could oh, I just make one yeah, final yeah. point? What size is this tent? It's um. 12, uh, I believe it's the exact measurements are there. I think, I think they are, but can, uh, you, can you get a smaller tent? <laughs> 12, by 12 by 20, right? Yes. Yeah. 12 by 20. Yeah. So what if you had 20. a smaller tent? Just think about it. We can't tell you what to do with it. What would this, what would this size yeah, have to do with it? I just gave that. you a lot of really good advice. So just yeah, we gave you all the advice we can give you here. Oh. You I think, I think you, you may want to ask the board to carry this okay. so you have time to talk to yeah. The, the house town the officials, i.e., okay. either the administrator or um, the engineer. I think Nora will go to talk to the zoning officer to try to, to try to help you out here. Okay. Um, you're going to have to provide. It would be a huge hardship okay. for us. I understand, but you're going to have to extend. You're going to have to provide extensions on the application to the board. Okay. All right. No, you can you can give it to the board verbally right now tonight, and or give a letter to the uh, board secretary. I don't know if that certain process. Yes. Yeah. Could we ask for an extension of some kind? Yes. Yeah. Nora, when can you put this case on again? I am checking. Okay. Is, is there going to be more cost than what we've already spent? No, that's what, by, by asking for the extension, you don't have to re-notice. Oh, okay. That's why, that's why we're okay. trying to do Just give me a moment. Would I would suggest, Nora, that you put it down a ways because the council is probably not going to have this on the top of their agenda. You don't have uh, enough time. Let's like. yeah. put them on in April, then. April, okay. April 6th. As long as you think I could accomplish whatever you think I need to do. Best shot. Go for it. Okay. April 5th. April 6th. Okay. April 6th. Motion to carry this case to April 6th without Second notice and with whatever <laughs> extensions are required. You must give Nora extent of a written extension. Okay. We'll see you on April 6th. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. luck. Good luck to you, but uh, <laughs> kind of an uphill. I would recommend prior to the April 6th meeting, everyone go and seize this thing. Yep. Please. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting one. Okay, next case is. Uh, uh, application 2145, Sunken Patel, 107 Harrison, C variance to legalize a shed and patio and small patio extension. Mr. Patel, are you present? Are both of you going to give uh, provide testimony? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you could both uh, raise your right hands, you swear from testimony you're about to give before the board street sale you got. Yes. And for the record, can you state your name? Okay, and you're the owners of 107 Harrison Road, correct? All right, thank you. You're sworn. Can you have a seat, Mr. Chairman? The uh, witnesses are sworn. All righty. So your application actually says to 
legalize the shed and patio and install a patio extension. So the patio that's there, you want to legalize in the shed that was there. Did yeah. you put those in or were there when you bought the house? No, you wasn't there. You put them in? Yes. Okay. And I'm looking at your survey and I'm trying to figure out where you want oh, here you extension on behind your house, is that correct? Yes. And you have a patio around the the shed. Yes. Now your shed is three foot off the property lines, rear and side where six is required. I guess you didn't know this when you uh, when you put the shed up? Yeah. Have you had any discussions with your neighbors that the fact that this shed is uh, uh, closer to the property lines than, uh, than required? Have your neighbors talked to you about it at all? No. Nobody's talked to you no. about it. And you have a, a patio with a zero, zero uh, clearance, mm -hmm. zero uh, side yard and rear yard. Um, and what? And tell me the patio. What the patio you want to put in now? What's what side? What? How big is that going to be? Tell me the. You want to put a 269 square foot patio expansion? Where's that? Mr. Chairman, I think it's already in. Is it not? Yes. The patio oh. extension. I thought I read oh, that okay. it was oh. too. I thought we were real. No, I'll install it says install a patio. Already some pavers are there, right? Yeah. yeah. And now, <laughs> apart from that, uh, this patio is going? I mean, there will be more uh, patios, like, you know, the blocks. So there's pavers there now. Yeah. They were there when you bought the house? Yeah, they were there, yes. And you want to extend that? They extend them, yes. Okay. So no, no, I think I understand. Extend them till, uh, because I don't have the survey with me, but uh, it will show on the survey, like, where I want them. Well, how far off the property line are you going to put the patio? Actually, I don't know because I don't have the survey with you right now. Looks like it's right your survey it looks says like it's going right up to the property line. Is that yes. your plan to put it right up to the property line? All the way. There's a fence along your property line, right? Yeah. Yeah, there is a fence. And you're going to put the patio right out to the fence? No, no, inside. Well, the, what we have in front of us shows right out to the fence. No, it should be inside. It, it's not outside. It's inside only. So legal, to legalize it, you need to, um, it would have to be, that's a sign. You would have to be six feet off the property line. What was it again? Six feet. Your, your patio could not encroach within six feet of the property line. And at that end, they only have, 7.8 feet. Is, is, is there a sidewalk that goes around the back corner of your house? Is there a back door that you can come in? Yeah, there is a back door, yeah. Off, you come in your driveway and you can walk around the corner yeah. of your house and yeah, get I the back. walk around, yeah. Okay. That sidewalk is conforming. Anything beyond that sidewalk needs a variance. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. Okay, because I'm not going to put the blocks over there by the sidewalk. There You're is, not? There is a fencing door when you go up to the sidewalk. Okay, where are you going to? The survey we have right now okay. shows that you want to put your new patio yeah. almost the entire length of the, along the back of your house and up to the fence. And that's, you just said that, that's not what you're doing. Is there an air conditioner back there? There is air conditioning, yeah. And the plan that we have shows from the corner, the when you come up your driveway and go around the corner, from that corner of your house, okay. almost the entire length of the back of the house, you want to pay. No, it should be inside. Like, there should be a door, like a fencing door. But the block should be, the, like the paper should be inside, not the outside. I think you need to take a look at your survey. Yeah. And you, you can't ask the board to act on something that we're guessing at. 
Okay. And you also should consider staying within the six feet setback because you've already got encroachment on two other places and I, I don't think we're going to continue to permit you to do encroachments back there. That's my opinion. You, you both look surprised at that comment. Do you understand what the chairman just said? You do. Okay. No. So where you want to put those patios say, all the way to the fence, yeah. shouldn't happen. Okay. It's not that it's on the other side of the fence. Yeah. Okay. It shouldn't be up to the fence okay. either. It okay. should be yeah. six feet off yeah. of that. Six feet off of the fence. Yes. yes. Okay. It's not that it can't go on the other side of the fence. Okay. It's got to be six feet. Yeah. Ten. Ten feet. You you have a you have you're in an R four zone and you have a conforming lot, six thousand square feet. You've actually got six thousand one hundred eighty seven square feet. Normally, when we are giving variances on in lots that are in Lake Hiawatha, Lake Persephone, places like that, it's where they're substandard lots. We tend to be a little bit more forgiving. You've got a standard standard size lot, so uh, uh, you, you better you better rework where it says 108.80 there, where you've got these lines. Okay. We need more definition there as to what you want to do. Okay, because okay, you're you're this shows you going right up to the property line, and I can't tell how how wide did how wide did, how did you it looks you like seven point? eight and ten so well, they, oh, houses, oh I see okay the house is a little catty yeah. corner yeah. to the property line so, so on the workup it's twenty two feet yeah, by nine point five <laughs> so it's right to the right yeah. to the property yeah. line. Yeah. Yes, uh, Chairman, the, there is a report from our engineer that says that no, uh, no item number one in his report. Report from the engineer? Yes. It says entire I mean, rear I, of the I property. Read this today, yes. I'll tell you in a minute. So is this whole, your whole backyard is paver? Yeah. Yeah. No grass. That? No grass. So that's going to, what you have to understand is that's going to throw off. Because that's not reported there, that's going to throw off the percentages we were given. Yeah, see that? So we... No, I mean, on the, uh, like, where the shed is, there is some, some grass over there. Yeah, but, the, what, but not on the other side. What the report says okay. is that you have impervious coverage in your yard based on their site inspection. Okay. That is not on the diagram you submitted. Okay. The numbers we're given that we have to decide on okay. reflect what you submitted, so they're not accurate. Okay. So where it says right now your proposed impervious coverage is 42.58 percent, it could be 50, it could be 43, it could be 90. Okay. That's hard to vote on. You can't vote. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Nora, you got a date? Vote for two. Um, what do I need to do with that? I was going to say, let's you need to come sure back with some more information. You got to, you got to true up these documents okay. and tell us exactly what's there. Okay. You might want to take some pictures to make it easier. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to ask for this to be adjourned or carried, mm -hmm. and you're going to give uh, consent for any uh, additional time um, the board would need. Thank you. Nora, what you got? Uh, come on, uh, wait, hold on. April 6th. Like, I think we're well, working in good faith with this applicant. I yeah. think we should just advise them that they, as they, as you rework these plans, okay. more accurately reflect what's back, what's back there. Okay. You come back and start thinking about scaling back on this impervious coverage. Oh. So do you know what impervious coverage is? No. Okay, so that's where the water can't get back into the ground naturally, okay. Okay. so that it tends to go elsewhere. Okay. So there are limits to how much land you can own that has this coverage. Okay. So you need to really be, you know, get into that. The board really looks upon impervious coverage because we're very concerned about the water okay. and you sending water to neighbors or whatever. Okay. So that's why the suggestion is also maybe making it smaller. Mm -hmm. Have so, you read this memo? Right? From the engineers, uh, September 15th? From Justin Lizza from the uh, engineer department. Okay. Have you read that memo? No. You need a copy of it. Okay. <laughs> that memo shares concerns okay. with the board. 
That's part of what's going to go into our decision making process. Okay. So you should read that okay. and understand what we're going to be, what needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen that, Sven? No. No. No, no. You want a copy? Yeah. Yes. This, this, this coming before this board can be a daunting task, okay, and understanding what you need to do to get approval. Okay. We, 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 have to, we have to base on what we have here, okay? okay. And, and people can help you understand what it is you would need to do so you don't need to come to us, okay, on your property. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. You can Once you do that, I might not need us. Okay? What's, what's the date, Nora? April 6th. April 6th. We're going to carry this you know. case for April 6th. Okay. You don't do it, not need to notice anybody who would notice is being given right now. This meeting is being carried. This, this case is being carried for April 6th. What you do need to do is give Nora a letter of uh, extension, giving us time to uh, going forward. Okay. Take this. Mr. Chairman, somebody. Yeah, but. Well, it's not the time for comments. I'm sorry. Because they haven't presented their case yet. If you have a question of these witnesses, I can let you ask a question, but I can't ask. I can only let you Matt, make a comment right now. I would like to make a question. We'll come up and ask I your would question. Like to know how no, you come on. You got to come, come up come and identify on. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, for the record, when you come up here, please state your name and address. Uh, David Murray, 109 Harrison Road. I'm the neighbors. Um, basically, you know, I built a new home. Um, it doesn't make a difference. I don't care whether they want to put in a patio. Excuse me. Excuse me. Question. Please ask a question. I would like to know how they're going to control the water, considering I flooded in my basement uh, twice. And the third time where it came into water. So that's going to, that'll be part of their presentation when they come back right now. Okay. The information that they gave us is incomplete. Okay. So you'll have a chance uh, on April 6th when they have to come back. All I heard was the perimeter of the size extension, but there is a concern over it. That's all we got to. Yeah. We, we get the to the next step. pointed out that the survey does not reflect what's out there. And they seem to be confused on at least what they wanted, what the plan showed. So mm -hmm. it was uh, scrambled eggs. Got it. I have a huge concern over the water. I, think yeah, so I, do we, do, I do have a comment on that because since he said it's not that time. Don't not time. It's not time. You still have to present your case. Okay. April yeah. si save it for April 6th. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Was the motion? Do I have a motion to April 6th on this afternoon? So moved, Snyder. Second, Joshua's. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So, thank you, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Bernie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Read this carefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should turn him around. Bernie's the home watch, you turn uh, around. watching the. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Just take that. Uh, no, no, got, just that who's one. Got, who's got a copy for him? No, I gave yeah, it to him. He has it. Okay, that is yeah, it. Good luck. Good luck. You may want to discuss this with your neighbor as well. Okay, application 2177, Stephen Emily Coglin, 63 North Place. Right now, I was Okay. There's a note down here. That the structure's in the right uh, If you're right, who's going to provide testimony? All three of you. Okay, if you, all three raise your right hands. You swear from the testimony yeah, give to the board's true self you got. And for the record, ma'am, what's your name? And yours, sir? Jimmy Lau. And are you? I'm a landscape architect at Okay, so you, you're, you're going to provide expert testimony? Okay, I'll swear you in separately. Uh, you, sir? My name is David Coughlin. And you're? I'm the owner co owner of my wife. Okay, thank you. Please you. <laughs> the two of you are sworn, and if you give testimony tonight as an expert, I'll swear you in. Uh, before we start, there's an issue with regard to structures in the right of way. Just like the first application, the board cannot give or grant any um, relief. It's the town, and there's a there's a note that says structures in the right of way needing engineering and council approval are deck stone stairs, stone stairs, sidewalk, and four foot high picket fence. So if you go forward today and you receive a denial, you can never come back to the board. 
So uh, the same advice, not advice, but recommendation. We're looking, we're looking for approval for the what's in the property right now. Well, you on, on this, you're you're at, you're requesting approval of this as well, correct? You're, you're in the same boat. No, is no, you're not the same. Boat. Here separate application, totally separate. You can't mix between what's on the property and what's in the right away. Totally separate. You don't even have that jurisdiction to approve that. Right, that's what we're saying. Yeah, Aren't you so proposing it? No, not for It's this, there? Not for this board. Not for this board. Not for the board of adjustments. Well, but but you can't separate. Well, you're telling us you're going to separate part of the improvements that are encroaching in the right of way from your application in front of this board. So the board? How do you do that? The application that goes through engineering, because the right of way, if you look at the property line, it's right on the building. Huh? Like right on the There's nothing that encroaches in the right of way. You're telling no. Within this application, you're you're a landscape architect or you're a surveyor. I'm a licensed landscape architect. I did not. That was my question. Are you a surveyor? I'm a landscape architect. Okay. So then you, you really can't provide that test one. And the engineer came to our house the other day. We have a yeah, from uh, and did they, has anybody determined whether or not the street in front of your house is owned by Persephone or by the association? It is. We know that. Okay. But some of the streets out there in Mount Taylor are not. Um, they they still own. Persephone just fixed it. Yeah, just well, that's. Less okay. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Well, they said, yeah, they, they were, it's yeah, they've been taking care of the streets for years. So I have uh, some existing conditions. Uh, well, I made five copies. I so can we move yeah, forward or not? Again, there, I, you know, my, I think the recommendation should be is you should go through engineering to resolve those other issues. So could you explain how we get to this point? I mean, Norn and, and I have had a lot of communication over the last, mm -hmm. I guess, five months. How do we get to this point? of having the hearing if we're not able to move forward with the hearing based on the information that we have. We're not in an administration. We're the zoning board. Uh, I don't know if we can adequately answer that question for you. Um, you might want to go back to the zoning officer and find out why this application ever got to us. If we can't hear it. <coughs> for what's on the property, and that's all you can approve. So the approvals for the right of way is separate. And we're going to do that as well. Property, we and that is what that's basically how the rest of the thing works. It would be different if you had jurisdiction under the right way. Well, you just heard the case, two cases in front of you, and that isn't how we worked. I know that's, I know that. I know okay. that. But that's the way. That well, what, what structure are we call on the fence right now? Yes. Whatever is in the right way is the fence, correct? That's the page, the new side, new side. Wall. I don't know whether the surface of the building is an encroachment or not. It wouldn't surprise me in Mount David. No, it's, it's the, the front of the building is not. Right. If you're saying you're not. We're not asking for approval of the entire scope of the entire project. We're asking for approval for the patio that's going to be on one side, the other patio. I understood that. So, like, that's where it's. No. I understand how it gets to Yeah, I, why this issue was not raised earlier, I have no idea. And it's, and, and it's not it's not making you happy. I understand that. No, I understand. No, I understand from your standpoint. Um, but just because we so we should have really just eliminated the fence and stuff from the application. Not, not if it really no. enhances your property. What you needed to do is get on the council's agenda, get a lease for that portion of the roadway, because the street is way away from your house. Okay, so then the one thing I'll just, we have to continue to the next time we do that, I guess. But like, as far as like this council's concerned, it's concerning that I've seen three applications come forward and none of them are really prepared to come to this case. Yeah, I don't understand So, like, where how much of a time, like, you, or you or volunteers, I'm sure, the time that's wasted and the resources that are wasted by the town is, like, really... I wish, I wish we had an answer for you, but we... I know we, you don't have an answer, but maybe... And it was literally none, of, none of that is under our right. jurisdiction. No, I understand it. This is really... We're as frustrated as you are. No, it's really an yeah, aber aberration. They did 11 cases in the last meeting in December. 
that this is you're going to prove basically what's on the property. Correct. That is what you're. That's what you're mandated to do for the town to prove what is on their property. Is that correct? No, we're not necessarily the variances you're looking for. Here. We're looking for like the variance. So we're not asking for approval of the fence. The fact that there's a fence being made makes you not be able to prove the property that we're telling Even though we're not asking for approval, we're, we're, asking, we're not for asking for approval. Oh, so the, the fence is in the right of way. I so your 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 that's your, why we have to go to engineer. Yes, your property is in violation now. Yeah. So before you can even no, it's not a violation. We didn't build anything. Nothing was built yet. Okay. Okay. This is the way they purchase the property. There's no violation. The, the property, the, the fence is in the town's There's right no away. Fence. There's no fence right now. So can't we just can't we just it, say that they're going to eliminate the items from they're going to withdraw those items from our, our thing, John? Can't? So, what, what, what do we what 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 so are we what is the have to get rid of the fence? Get rid of the fence. Retain, the, retaining walls. All of the sidewalks now exist. The walkway steps. Okay, that exists. The How about the deck? The deck is, the not, deck is on the property. It's on the property. It is not. It is on the property. What's that line that's going through? The right of way line is, for whatever reason, fuzzy as it comes up along your property, as on at least my copy. And it shows it yeah, the inside the Again, I, I didn't outside these wall. Are, these are redrawn. So the deck is inside the property. It's not in the right way. We don't expect to bring that to well, this this survey that I have in front of me is whose? Um, I did not draft that up. Do you have one that you drafted up? I did not bring it here. But this is what we're looking at. Yeah. Where did where, where did where did this come from? It was a survey that we had through our mortgage agreement. So this is what you got when you when you bought the house. Yes. Yes. And then and is somebody else prepared a new survey? I prepare schematics for where the locations are. I don't want to hear about schematics. I want to hear about a new survey. We were never asked for a new survey. We were asked for plans. Okay. For this survey shows the deck is in the street. That was drawn in by somebody else, not myself, not me. Probably your zoning, the zoning department. It's does, the inside the property. The deck is does not exist yet, right? Does not. Does not exist. Okay. So, and, and you want to propose it as fifteen by eighteen. Fifteen by eighteen. Okay. And if you look at the, the second set of pictures, right now there's a kitchen door that is elevated about. Can I ask a question? This was in our file. Yes. That's Is that a d something that you prepared? Yes. Well, not the survey. That's the survey to do as well. You. This is the survey that you had prepared as part of the purchase of the home. Yeah. I'm just. Everyone down there is just, just a file copy. A little. Hmm. Some more notes than you had on. <laughs> And I would think, Mr. Chow can correct me if I'm wrong, but the other things that would be in the right of way that they want to go to the engineer, if the engineer grants it, I don't know why they're going to the engineer. The engineer can't grant anything in the right of way. I understand either. when they go to the town and the engineer, they're going to have to come back here because this isn't going to be um, yeah. front yard set back anyhow. So. It would make sense instead of coming back here twice 
tick, tick. Well, from from what I see here, those things that they're saying that would be setbacks to variance now. Well, we can't. How how do we? And the additional patio on the other side. So so then for everything else, the fence for this 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 structure in the right of way. Part of engineering. But they can't give variance. Not grant private improvements in a public right of way. You could, uh, go to there get is the release. Specific form is a specific form that you go to engineering and you request it. You meet with the engineer. The engineer seems to have come out already to take a look at I think it. They were coming out in relation to this. In terms of the sidewalk and the walls. So what do you do in Mount Tabor? <laughs> no, I agree with you. A, it's a walkway in front of your house. No, but I agree with you. you. Know, and everything that was talked that. about. And is right. a safety issue, which is a a major safety safety issue. more important than anything. Yeah. It's a very, it's a Correct. significant safety issue in terms of the fencing. Yeah. That's a significant. This is a huge drop. Right now, the sidewalk actually doesn't even go to the front walk. It goes to the house, which is inefficient. And we want to remove that and shift it over to where it logically needs to go. It's a very logical design. It's not can really really just basic home improvement. Okay. Do we have a report uh, from our engineer on this? I didn't see any. But I, I didn't have I didn't get the file. No, do we you ever seen a report from Lisa on this one as well as one of And you said you've met with the engineer. He can't know the gentleman came by the house. I forget his name. He had red hair and beard. He was like, you know, late twenties, early thirties. Paul? Okay. Was it a, a Paul? Yeah, I think it's Paul. Well. Yeah, came by and was dressing, what we're doing, and kind of explained everything. He was at the biggest surface, like you mentioned earlier. So, and he said that it sounded, if anything, I think we're going to have less impervious surface area than before. But she's, you know, he realized the safety issue was going to depend. Like, it really is a very, like, it's. Oh, yeah, I understand. Wall basically to the meter, and it's like really is an unsafe situation, so it is concerning. Um, and like you know, people walk around by there, it's like if you're at nighttime, you don't even right know now. who's yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Know the, like, How long have you had the house where it's been this condition now? So it's been why the same you, thing for two years. Why did you buy this house if it was such a wonderful? I don't understand the, the relevance of that question. We do have the home, and we've been working very well, hard. No, I, I understand it, but uh, look, well, there's only certain limitations that we can work right. under. Okay. But, so the point is that over the last three years, we've worked very hard to save money. I'm a public school employee. My husband's a nurse. We've worked extremely hard to save some money so that we could do these safety and aesthetic improvements to our right. home. And God bless you. I hope you can do them. And yeah. you notice that it has to be a, done in a, in a, in a particular you procedure. The pictures, uh, right now, there's a patio. It's a, it's a slate patio. I, I want to go back to this guy that came out and made the inspection. Somebody, one of the board members seemed to know who he was. It could be oh, Paul Lee Hoff. It could be Brandon. Guy. Paul Nihon, oh. work. Now, these are engineering inspectors, in right? They, yeah. they work, yeah, they're in the engineering department. Yeah. Did he say to you that there's a process that well, he said, the he engineering like, department he can grant? He told me about the earth movement. He told me about... Um, That's a separate issue. Yeah. So he said that they ran the permit to remove the earth, the steps that we wanted to do, and then he said that that was the um, right of way, that the stairs may have to go into the right of way to the our, our department like that. And he said that um, as far as the, you know, he didn't mention anything about the walkway. There currently is, as we bought it, a cement walkway out to the street that's in the right of way. And, then the and those are allowed. Walk, you know, like a sidewalk, so to speak. Right. Yeah. Although it's your sidewalk. I mean, it's part of your passive. And it's a slate sidewalk that sort of goes and winds towards the house. But well, I think at one point that was the front door. Yeah. Now it's not the front door. So uh, these are these are honest people who are trying to make a house safer. I don't think these are people looking to get over in any way. What is the uh, opinion of our experts to to give them so we could expedite this? Again, again, my 
suggestion, and Mr. Chow will tell me if I'm wrong, but I understand that you have certain things that are in the right of way. If you, if you bifurcate this, you, you just got to come back here again. So if we look at the so improvements. Do you, approve, do you approve things in the right of way? They, it, it's the front yard. So, so I think that the things that, that it's are. Not, it's not the front yard. The right of way. The right of way goes right to so yeah, the house. The house ends our the right of way. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> our front our window. If I stick my hand out the window, I'm in the right of way. And you're, and you're not the only one. Believe me, you're all, not the only one up there. All, all this relief is your front yard, your setbacks, right? Yeah. So it's a front yard. All, right. all these things that they're saying that's in the right of way are in 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 that setback, I believe. Correct? No, yeah. it's in the right of way. It's in the right of way. The setback. Like wait, here's here's the so here's the house mm -hmm. here's the house this is the property line right here right on the house mm -hmm. it's right on the house the survey that we have shows that property line on the inside the front wall oh right when you got your mortgage, did you, did you have do you ever remember any kind of contingencies on that thing uh, nothing. The wall that's like here. This I mean, this survey that we keep looking at, this is the survey you got when you bought the house. Yeah. All right. This is the only survey we have. That's right on that. Yeah. We're asking for relief for the patio uh, to make that corner transition of the house to the kitchen safer to get the. All right. We're in, a, we're in a lousy season for, for construction to begin with. My suggestion is that we regroup on this. It's been a year. I wasn't even. I'm not going <laughs> to. We started the process. Talk, and I wasn't even talk ready. all you want. Go ahead. I think you have to understand where we're coming from as, as homeowners and as with young children with our changes to our family coming is that we have worked so hard with Jimmy over the course of. I wasn't even pregnant when we started the process. And, and we submitted our application in August, and we're waiting and waiting and checking. I mean, Nora would attest to that. I've had many emails with Nora, long conversations, Haley Donnelly, all these people. I, I can't understand how I would get to this point and then be told, oh, well, we can't do that here tonight. That, that is beyond me in terms of logic, you know. I, um, you know, and I'm, and I'm really sorry for it, but it's out of our control. It's absolutely out of our does. So why, but town hall, what, where what it's items, building, what items, where we're in right now, has provided the information actually, guiding our steps along the excuse way. Excuse me a second, please. What items can we actually look at tonight? Yes, we're looking at What items can we look at? The fence is in the right way. So there's one fence in front of the carport that's in the property. So there's two fences. The fence to protect the wall. I got a four foot high picket fence note written on here. It's up yeah. here. It's up here. It's that one is okay. Is that proposed? By the carport. Yes. That is within the property line, correct? Okay. Yes, the Then in the right of way, I've got a four foot high picket fence that goes along that stone that's concrete. In the, that's in the right of way. That's in the right of way. We can't do that way. The stairs yeah. are in the right of way too because we want to transition the side yard. That's okay, and those stairs are new as well. They are going to be proposed and installed new. There's two okay. sets of stairs. Let's do now that, stone that you stone. think you have the other set in the property. In the property. You have the feeling that the engineering department Still is going to stairs. authorize that. Mm -hmm. Yes. If they don't do the stairs, we're fine with that. But the fence is definitely necessary for that safety drop. The fence, you, the fence, the engineering department does not have jurisdiction on. You're going to have to go to get relief from the coast. Which and we can't, we can't deal with it. We can't deal with that fence along the walkway. Can we get back to the answering my question? Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm going to go through what we can. What can we go? What we can we actually? dwell on this evening you can do, you could do the deck 
the deck, but you say the deck, according to the description, is in the. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it as part of the resolution that this. It's not in. The, it, it's not. It okay. does not encroach. Okay. And that's the 15 by 18 deck to the left. Of the yes. Truck. Okay. The deck we can do. And and that would be as a condition that the engineer. Pacific's engineering department would certify that it of doesn't encroach. Yep. Okay. If we encroach, we're probably not going to encroach. That was. Oh, we won't encroach. What? Uh, what else? What let, else? Let John speak, please. The so John, 15 square feet, 15 square feet, 15 square feet, and 37.5 square feet stone stairs. Uh, stone stairs, no. No. Well, there's several stone stairs. <laughs> because if you look at the property, if you look at the prop back property, it's all sloped. And it's just uh, steep, but there has been some old terraces there. Uh, Are that. they in that right away or not? That's in the property. All these, all these stone stairs are on the property. This is uh, all that's in the property. All these stairs to transition. Uh, we have a list of improvements. Here. Yeah. Stairs A, B, C. Yeah. Can we go down the? Yeah, yeah. D. Item by item. Uh, in order. Uh, well, we, yes or no? Yeah. We have these up on the top here. 180 square foot, 360 square foot, and 80 square foot patios. Are they in the in the right of way or not? No. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. 40 square foot fireplace. Not in the right of way. 40 square foot and 50 square foot crushed stone path pathways. Uh, that is not in the right of way. Not in the right of way. So everything four, on everything four foot on, high every, fence. everything on just this yes. is all within the property it's, it's yes or no just yes picket or no right fence. four foot high picket fence on this schedule wherever on it may property. be not in the right way according right to way. But mr chair according to the memo we got it is yes. there's several there's so when we did the calculations this is only for your approval all right engineering those engineering items we're supposed to be documented to you so that you understand that there's going to be a separate application to engineer. We went through everything on this. This is all. So, on so the can we go on to the next item, please? 2.5 foot high max retaining walls in the right of way or not? Not on the right of way, within the property. So, what is in the right of way? A, that's where I was going. There's stone stairs, stone stairs, the sidewalk, and the four foot high picket fence. It is not in this application. So, so that's that's it's that's it's where it's the problem is, sir. It's not delineated. So you you you've given this 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 plat here. Well, I'm just thinking. And the board is having a hard hard time. Everything differentiating. I'm trying to explain. I, let me go. Differentiating what four foot fence you're requesting right. relief, yeah. what stone wall. What stairs? You have so much here that it's not, it's not color coordinated. I think that's part of the problem. Okay, I understand that. I apologize, but it was brought to our attention that the application going to you is for a variance, and it's all documented in this form. Okay. Engineering, anything outside, we're not asking for any of those approvals. There's additional sidewalks that are going to have to be part of uh, engineering. And it has nothing to do with this. So are you in a position to testify this evening using this document and showing us exactly what you want to do? Yes. And the document that I, I stated, it says specifically a note where this where the fence is to protect that fall is part of engineering. There's a little note. I don't I don't I don't care what's part of engineering. I want to know if you're in a position to testify right now to every item that you're looking for a variance. It, it is it. not in the right of way. You're do that? Yes. Okay. Swear man. Raise your right hand and you swear firm testimony about to give before the board to help you God? Yes. For the record, can you state your name? Uh, Jimmy Lau. And you're an archi uh, landscape architect landscape architect and, and you have a license? Yes. Your license, okay. And you've testified before at other uh, planning boards or zoning boards? Yes. New York City and uh, yes. New Jersey? Uh, yes, in the past. Okay. Please spell your last name. L A U. Mr. Okay, you got the floor. Tell us what you want to do. Okay. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, asking for variance because the actual property line is adjacent to the house. Uh, there's several encroachments within the uh, setback. Within, uh, I guess this is a C23. So right now, the setbacks that we're looking for, we want to build a deck right up to the 
adjacent property line. And this will, and the first, let's go to the first. If you have the pictures, yeah, the maybe I can help speed this up. First, your improvements is, is Coglin has testified, and, it, and your wife has testified, are all based on health safety of your property. Uh, yes. Uh, but for the With deck, the new deck is for use of the property as yeah, but also a family. It allows better access to get to where the driver is. Currently, my four year old and seven year old have to walk in the street to get to the car. Okay. I didn't want to say I thought it was me. Yeah. No, look, I, I would think that, that's. I, I understand, John, but I, 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 want, I want to look at this picture. And I want to see where everything is going to be done. Okay. So let's start. Let's the first, first thing first. you're talking about is the 15 by 18 foot deck, which is going to sit alongside the main dwelling, correct? Yes. And so that's, that's going to be setting. in the in within the within the. It's not going to be in the right of way. You're going to make sure of that. Yeah. Okay. That's number one. Let's go on to the next item now. Stone stairs. Where are you putting stone stairs? Which ones? I don't know. I guess it's supposed to tell me. Um, one of them will go to the right of the deck leading up to the driveway. Uh, you, you, don't you want your expert to maybe yeah, test on so, uh, that? Try to use the pictures because the pictures actually shows a lot. A reference to. Are we going to mark that into evidence? Sure. Okay, yep. so that'll be A1. And also the, the pictures, the existing condition. Yeah. Which is, uh, that'll right. be A2. Okay. So right, let's go first. back to the list here and back to this. I appreciate the picture. I want to mark these things off as we go along. 15 square foot stone stairs. The first set of 15 foot square stone stairs. Where are they? Are they coming off the deck? Stone stairs on eight. So right now, the deck is going to be at a higher elevation and to get to the yard it needs to be several stone steps to get to the yard all right so that's going to occur right along here yeah i understand it's coming on my the on the diagram you've got a set of steps yes, coming up. that's it right there okay that's number two that's one of the 15. yes okay we're making progress i think yeah you are yeah, yeah exactly okay that's two now we're going to go to another 15 square foot uh, steps. Where is that one? So there's one stone steps that goes up to the upper sitting area. This, um, this whole yeah, yeah. thing over here is an 18 by 20 patio? Over here, this side. Okay. Oh, yeah. Over there. Yep. Oh, oh I got over so that's there. Just where that, where there's no. That's what, that's the one I just put number two. Where? Yeah. Oh, that's that's oh, two. We should that's label them A and B. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's three. Yeah. Okay. So then we got another another fifteen square foot uh, steps. Two. There's a so those three fifteen foot stone steps mm -hmm. are for the patio. Two of them to transition to the backyard. And one Same of them can transition to the upper sitting area. Which one's A? Which one's B? Which you one's B? Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's we'll three A, and B, four. C. All right. No, A, B, and C. Whatever. Next so one. 37 right. and a half You're square foot deck. stone stairs. 37 and a half square foot stone stairs. Okay. So those I'll are the basically inside the property. If you look at the last set of pictures, the property is so sloped. There's some, uh, so we have to build some low walls to terrace it out, and we're going to need that level of stone steps to transition to these different levels. Where? Um, Tell me where. By the two patios? Is it by the 18 by 20 foot patio? Yeah. By, by 10? You might don't have the picture that you is it right? Is it? Is this in between here? Yes. Okay, that's number whatever. So number. where the two patios are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why, why did you select all 15 foot? <laughs> 37 square foot, two, three, four, that's number five, okay. Number five, okay. Number six, uh, eight, 180 square foot by 360 square foot and 80 square foot patios. Yes. So... 18 by 20 is your 360? Yes. Right, mm -hmm. that's one of them, that's uh, 7A. 
And where is the 180? That's 180 the upper, that's the upper, uh, 8 by 10. 8 by 10, I can see the 80. Oh, I see. Okay, there's the 80, 7B. And we got a 180 square foot patio somewhere. And is that this one over 12. here, 12 by, 12. 15? Yeah, 12 by 15? 12 by 15. There it is, 7C. Okay, we got that far. Now, where's the fireplace? 40 square foot fireplace. That's in the 5 by 8 fireplace. In the patio. Down by the lower no, I got it. Okay, 8. All right, got it. Doing good so far. Um, 40 square foot and 50 square foot crushed stone pathways. So, you see the little dots connecting the stairs to the lower patio and also by the deck adjacent to the kitchen. Um, there's some crushed dots where those little dots are, but those little dots. You see this? Yeah. Somebody uh, see those? Right, right here. Yeah. Right. No. yeah. yeah. I think uh, that right here. I think that's just all those steps. Here. Those are the steps? Yeah. To connect okay. the steps to the patio. Okay. Okay. No big. Well, no fence. Uh, there's a picket fence um, for the carport. For the carport. This is the four foot high picket fence. Yes. Okay, that's okay. ten. And the last one is a two and a half foot. High maximum retaining wall. Where is and that? It's going to be in the. Uh, if you look at the last set of pictures, it's very slow. On on this map, for them. Um, right here. Where is that one? And that's in the back. Oh, stone wall. I see. Okay. That's in the back that's under okay. under proposed. Yeah. Right. Are you moving dirt around at all? Yes. Up and around the uh, uh, carport deck area. No mo moving there, but we will be moving um, soil in the lower part of the property. That upper property, we're just going to remove the existing patio because it's adjacent to a right, wall, so a the wall board, zone, yeah, and we're board, just moving it closer. The board feels comfortable that you should condition this on a soil movement permit approved by the engineering department. So regardless of what happens in the right of way, we can give them a variance for these items tonight. Yes. We can. Is everybody comfortable with this? With this? Are you comfortable? Like, I'm, checking off the list here. Well, I'm. It, it looks like a no woof for most of the yeah. stuff. I think you're doing a good job with it. Nancy. Yes. You I'm said yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. You know you're going to have to get a. You're going to. It's going to be subject to a soil moving permit. Now you yes. told us you're moving yes. soil. All right. Yeah. That's something you have to come back right. to yeah. us. We say we like it. We give it to the council, and the council approves. We cannot prove soil moving. Be aware of it. Okay. Anything else you want to add? That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> any members of the public that have any questions of these witnesses on the testimony given this evening? I hear none and see none. Do you want to sum your case, or do you think your testimony is uh, sufficient? Um, I think I'm satisfied. Any members of the public who wish to speak in opposition to this application, in support of this application? I hear none and see none. Comment? Somebody a comment? It's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's going to improve the functionality of their house. It's going to improve the aesthetics of the house, the safety of the house. <laughs> Um, you know, I'll be I'll be voting for it. And again, all the items on their property line. You know, Within. It's a, behind, it's a, it's behind the property line. Right? It's, a, it's a lot of paperwork, and it doesn't appear. That, and there's not there's no impervious coverage, yes, for is it? No. It's it's really really nice to give it all the yeah. There's it's no impervious coverage. So it's okay. okay. All right. Uh, somebody frame a resolution. Um, let's give it a shot. Application twenty one colon seventy seven. Stephen and Emily Coughlin, 63 North Place, Block 68, Lot 2, Zone R3. <coughs> recommend uh, granting a C variance to construct, how do you want to state it, all requested variances within the property, property line? Within the yes. property, yeah. Within the property line. Uh, 
contrary to section 430-35 column 4. And subject to the soil. Yeah. And, subject yeah. to soil. And, so, and subject to soil. And any, any comments engineer, by an engineer, an engineer and, and you'll adhere to and Obviously, engineer. if something comes up from the engineering department, then we don't, we have control. Uh, okay, so there's a second. Uh, second. Any discussion? Laura, please call the roll. No. Berkowitz. Yes. Joshua. Yes. Kaplan. Yes. Parikh. Yes. Prasad. Oh, excuse me. Mozzarella. Yes. Ready. Yes. Snyder. Yes. Willen. Yes. Ira Tam. Yes. Results of variance is great. Let, let, let me just say, and, and maybe we rushed you in the beginning and we were trying to, I don't please don't think we were trying to push this off. Okay. This was very confusing. Yeah, yeah. It's still very, a, very, a, very a, confusing. A okay. Um, I don't know if it was the presentation. Most of us up here are not landscape architects. We're not engineers. We're not planners. Okay. Yeah. I've got my professionals. I've got uh, Mr. Holloway down here. I've got Mr. Chadwick, and we depend on them. And I, I, I apologize if you think that we gave you the bums rush because we really did. Okay. We're just trying to do things in a proper manner. Okay, and good luck to you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Two weeks? Where? Two weeks? Four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. After, yeah. after tonight, it might be two weeks. Thanks for your exercises. That needs to be part of the presentation. Sir, I think that is we put A1, right? Yeah, that's evidence. Yeah. 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 After it after all said and done. Maybe we take a picture. Do you want to take a picture of it before you say goodbye? I, I have more. I, I just yeah, okay. okay, one more yeah. case and we can go but home. The other piece that was an exhibit. This, this. I never got it. The picture okay, right here. There we go. Application 2178, Michael Skirty, Skirty Waterview Plaza. A bull, excuse me. 31. We got the you going to mark them A1? So we don't have that right now? Yes. Uh, we mark it. They're in the package. We blew these up to 50 years ago. For all people like in this case. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I'm Richard Hoff, a law firm of Bisgare Hoff. I'm here on behalf of the applicant, Michael S. Gurdy, DMD, LLC. We are here tonight for a use variance in the Waterview Marketplace Shopping Center. Mr. Skirty wants to open a dental practice in the remaining space within the center. As this board may recall, we've been through this drill before with the Urgent Care Center a couple of years ago. The Waterview Shopping Center is subject to a settlement agreement with the council. So anytime we want to do anything that's not specifically permitted in that center, we have to go to the council pursuant to the settlement agreement to get a resolution that says they're okay with it. So we started this process back in the summer. We made the request to the council. They did adopt a resolution. Actually, they uh, authorized a third amendment to the settlement agreement that specifically authorizes us to proceed with this, this application here tonight. So clearly, council is okay with it, but it is still use hiring, so that's why we're here to see before you tonight, because the dental office is not a permitted use in the zone. So uh, while council has approved it, you still get to review it and make sure that we comply with all the uh, these various standards. So uh, with that sort of background, I think the easiest thing would be to have Mr. Skirty give a little background on what his operation looks like. And we have Mr. Keller here to provide some uh, engineering and planning testimony. Dr. Ford, you raise your right hand. You swore firm testimony about the board you got. I do. For the record, can you state and spell your name? Mike Scurdy, M-R-K-E-S-C-U-R-P-I. And you're, you have the right to make this application through the owner of the property, yeah. and you'll be leasing that yeah. piece of property. There. Thank you. Um, and, and for the record, Mr. King, uh, we handed out uh, documents. A1 has been marked. It's the, uh, yes. sort of the tenant layout. You can see the D4 space is where the dental office will be. Mm -hmm. And then uh, A2 will be the architectural rendering that's showing sort of how the interior layout will be. Yes. Thank uh, you. Mr. Skirdy, um, obviously, given the name of the application, you're the principal with uh, the dental yeah. office. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you tell the board, um, let's start with sort of the practice and what you envision in terms of the, the size. Right. I mean, obviously, you have the square footage, but why don't we relate that to something people can relate to, which is how many chairs you have, 
how many employees, why don't we walk through and start with how many dentists? First of all, we, I uh, own and operate two uh, practices right now, one in Bud Lake, one in Mountain Lakes, which is essentially around the corner from the new location, hopefully the new location. Um, the, new, the new space will have 13 operatories. Um, we'll probably have 11 full-time employees working there. Um, we will have, we'll be open from 11 to 8 with two shifts. Um, and we'll try, and it's by appointment only, so we we're not going to have any walk-ins. And uh, that's pretty much. And then, when you say 11 to 13 employees, how many uh, dentists as yourself oh, be would two, be on staff? There'll at be one two time? dentists, probably most likely at all the time, and if a specialist needs to come in, we would have that uh, that would occupy one of those dentist positions. So it wouldn't be that only be two dentists at one time. And how many how many patients at a given time? You got to. So the amount of patients, right, because the way we do it is we stagger. So we'll have 13 operating rooms, but that doesn't mean we're going to have 13 patients at once. So what we could, we'll have, we stagger the schedule in order to accommodate everybody when we have to turn over the rooms. So essentially, you probably have eight patients in there, maybe six to eight patients at one time. Uh, one doctor will occupy two rooms, and again, it'll be staggered approach this way. There's, it's never over-occupied, and patients are never waiting. So when they get there, they're going to be seated immediately. So there'll be a current, a, a constant flow of in and out. We weren't going to have the waiting room packed because it's really not good. It's not good for COVID anyway. So we try to keep the flow as even as possible. So you indicated you got two dentists. Two um, dentists. How many in the front office that you know? Well, when probably you check have in. three, three people at the front, and then uh, two assistants, and maybe three hygienists. Okay. About it. Yeah. And the office hours typically? Eleven to eight with two shifts. Well, okay. So evening hours are more, yeah, uh, suitable. How about Saturdays? Saturdays will probably be done by four o'clock, eight to four. Okay. Any, any, you're not open on Sunday? No. Close on Sunday. Okay. Um, and is there anything, this is a typical dental office, right? You do cleanings? We do everything, yeah, we do pretty much everything, uh, general, general goes, like ground and bridge, uh, fillings, and if we need to do something in the specialty field, we bring a specialist in. Okay. We do have one surgery suite in there that can be utilized as a uh, oral surgery suite. Okay. And you've indicated you have two practices currently? We have two practices. One in Bud Lake has nine operatories, and the one in Mountain Lakes has four operatories. This is why we're running into capacity blocks. Um, we just can't accommodate all the patients. A lot of the patients actually come from Parsippany. About 40% of my patient pool is from Parsippany. So it's you know it's an easy transition for me. Goals to close out office and obviously yeah. not this space here. Okay. Uh, Council, the, the, out, the uh, days, it's going to be Monday through Friday from 11 to 8, and then Saturday hours? 8 to 4. 8 to 4. Okay, thank you. And close Sunday. Yeah. Yep. And why don't we talk about just sort of some logistics deliveries, for instance. Do you get a lot of, like, what kind of delivery trucks? And that? So, yeah, we get some deliveries. Uh, it's just UPS, normal stuff like that. And then uh, as far as biohazards, we have somebody coming. Either depending on the volume of patients that we have, will come up and they have a biohazard uh, receptacle that they actually take and they give us new ones. So there's never going to be, you know, it'll always be ready to go. Do you kind of sign up with those? Yeah, Stary Cycle is the company that I use now and uh, I have a long relationship. I've been practicing for 20 years, I have a long relationship with them. They know me, they know my volume, so it's, they're going to set it up accordingly. Okay, so as you see a flux or more or less, they adjust they, their they schedule. Adjust. Yeah, they adjust. Yeah, and they're on the place. It's the same day service too. So if I call them, they just come in, you know, the same day. If I happen to build up too much biohazard. And that the the medical waste is that stored in the building itself? Yeah, and the receptacles that they provide. Okay, so they actually give you the program. So they give us. Yep, yeah, we sign up with them, and as simple as that. Okay. So that nothing goes outside the center. It's no, all staying in no, the space. Not. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman, obviously subject to questions from the board on anything more affirmative from Mr. Skirt. Any questions for the doctor? No. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so in regards to your practice, are you, are you going to be performing uh, operations? And can you walk me through typical operations? I guess dental implants would be like oh, the, 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 lar the, the longest type of surgical outpatient surgical procedure that you'll be conducting on this site. Okay, so and how long is that? Like so, typically the services that we provide are run-of-the-mill uh, dental, general dentistry, which is you know Crown and Bridge. Every now and then you'll have a longer case. I've heard of the longest case is maybe two hours, 
Uh, in that case, we book appropriately, so we make sure that there's nobody, there's no overlay, there's nobody waiting. Uh, it's really a big practice builder to have, uh, you know, to have people come in and, and see this on time. So I pride myself on that. How many uh, surgical uh, procedures of that nature in it, it, during one particular service day would you book? at this site? So they're at one hour increments, like I said. If uh, whatever procedure should be done within that hour, it's done. So I do personally, I do everything from, uh, I'm a neuromuscular dentist by trade, so I'm doing implants, I'm doing uh, sinus augmentation, bone grafting, um, tish, uh, connective tissue grafts, uh, pedicle grafts, um, you name it, uh, I'm doing it. So these are all surgical procedures that I provide. Some of them take 45 minutes, some of them take an hour. So it's that's pretty much how it goes. So so the, the, the so I'm really so the patient the yeah no that's okay. The, so the patient travel in and out pattern will resemble an outpatient surgical facility that you see in Cedar Knolls or in any other location. Whether you'll see the in and out of outpatient people from uh, I guess yeah I'm not really understanding uh, I mean it's just like it's a general dental dental office mm -hmm. I mean if you've been to the dentist before it's a simple like yeah if you're worried about if you're concerned about patients walking out under anesthesia or clumsy and th that that's not yeah. what we're about no to Miss Snyder's point what what's like the longest procedure that you'll have in a in a center like this um well the truth is. I determine that, so I don't like to work over two hours. So <laughs> <laughs> two hours is it? Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to get a sense because I mean, I think we've all seen some outpatient surgical centers, and they just like they get them in, they get them out, they get them in, they get them out. It's it's like a revolving door, and I'm just trying even to feel height, out what this commuting so height, pattern is going to be even from parking lot to your office. One hour. So if you're coming in for a cleaning, you're there for one hour. This way, we can have the appropriate amount of time to take the diagnostics to get the clinical exam, to get your cleaning, x-rays, etc. So we allocate typically an hour. It's usually the only kind of short appointments that would that would accompany a day is going to be uh, like a suture removal. That would be it, a suture removal or an adjustment. The patient needs an adjustment on a denture or adjust, adjustment something. That's something that they would call last minute and come in and that's literally, I'll have a room that's dedicated just for that. Like I said, we're not gonna have, even though it has 13 operatories, one of those rooms is gonna be dedicated for those people that need those quick appointments. Okay. This and then, way, there's mm -hmm. never a wait time. Right, and then you're gonna have pharmaceuticals, narcotics stored on site? No. Okay. No. All right, more questions I have. Anybody else? Any members of, is, is that member of the public with you? She's with us. She's you. She better not ask me. She better not. What are you hiding? I I'm going to state for the record that there are no members of the public in this tenants, and I will not be asking for questions from members of the public. I have one more question. Sure. What made this, what attracted you to, um, to this site in particular versus any other site that's in Parsippany? Have you seen that mall? Uh, yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. It's, uh, I think it's a, a built-in marketing tool. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a better location for me. And you will have a spot, I would assume, on this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I will also not be asking for members of the public to speak in support of or in, uh, in opposition to. So we can dispense with that. And if there's no other questions for the doctor, you can... Well, I'm quick. sorry, John. Uh, yes. Signage, your lease, you get to put up out of the main billboard sign yes, sir. and what are you going to do in the front of the building is it going on the front of the awning? building uh, whatever sign is just approved by the the strip mall is, is the only thing there's up. all kinds of regulations in that I have, have, yeah they, they have, have done a sign package they'll do it and it'll be conformance with the town right we'll be back here tomorrow. yeah that agreement that you had to go see the council well it's i know that's why he's going to conform to what it i know <laughs> i got it yeah okay call yeah. your next witness Thank mr you. holloway you're okay down there Yes. Okay. Yes. I'd like to call Mr. Keller if I could. Thank you. Mr. Raise your right hand. Do you swear a firm testimony about the people the board serves? Help you, God? I do. And for the record, please you state and spell your name. Certainly. Eric Keller, K E L L E R. And you will, will be providing planning, uh, engineering? Engineering and planning testimony. My licenses are in good standing. I have appeared before this board uh, 
numerous times. Hundreds of times. Thank you. Swing. Didn't recognize you with your mask, though. I don't care. Okay. It's still me. Okay, now. A little now, older, a little now I know it's you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rowland. <laughs> All right. All right, Mr. Kelly. Obviously, you're familiar with this site. We've been here before. Yes. Um, I've worked on this site for quite some time. Um, I've been here before on two other applications, Ulta and the Urgent Care. Uh, actually, no. The Ulta was... The planning board. I yeah, I don't remember that one. Right. Yeah, the, the the urgent care. I was here two years ago. I remember uh, that. You all know the shopping center. Great place. The space that uh, Dr. Skirty is taking is the last space. It is right next to the urgent care. Um, and uh, as Mr. Skir Dr. Skirty has indicated, what his practice is about dental, um, and uh, you know. We feel, in general, and I'm trying to be brief to, but to cover the, the bases, the dental practice is beneficial to the community. It is not an inherently beneficial use, but it is something that, unfortunately, all of us need. Um, and I think it, as Ms. Dr. Skirty, I'm sorry, that's where. Um, you know, this is a great location. People are coming here on a regular basis. It's well located. It's easy to get to. Um, his, he's moving his practice from Mountain Lakes, which is, you know, his existing practice isn't that far away. So it is a very convenient location. As Mr. Hoff has indicated, um, we had to gain uh, approval from the council because this is a settlement agreement. This is the third time the settlement agreement has been amended to accept this as one of the uses, but we still need a use variance from this board. So we need to talk about special reasons because this is a use variance. This use is not permitted um, in this zone. Um, two purposes of planning, I think, are key. Uh, purpose A, to encourage municipal action to, to guide appropriate use or development of all lands. And G, the, uh, promoting the purpose of providing sufficient space for a variety of uses, um, including commercial, according to you know, various uh, environmental requirements to meet the needs of the citizens. So um, I think the relief that we're requesting meets the statutory uh, sufficient space requirement and that this space is available. As Dr. Skirty has indicated, it's a great location. He's excited about being part of, of this shopping center. Um, and as he's also described, he has a service to take care of the medical type waste, so there are no environmental issues, there are no other uh, deleterious materials on site. What time, what time is that waste going to be picked up? Uh, particular suitability is another aspect that we need to deal with. Uh, it's an existing retail center, the site's there, the space is available. This space was originally intended to be a restaurant. Uh, and I bring that up because uh, Mr. Holloway raised the question about parking. Yes, the dental office generates a higher parking demand than if this was a general retail, but because this was originally going to be a restaurant space, it actually generates one less parking space than if it had been the Be Good restaurant that was planned uh, for uh, this space. So there was a parking variance that was granted when we were here for the urgent care. So we're actually decreasing that deviation by one space because at the time that we did the urgent care, we had still anticipated that, that this space was going to be occupied by the restaurant. So there was no uh, increase or exacerbation of the parking variance previously granted. Um, so negative criteria, uh, we do not feel that there's any substantial adverse impact on the public good, the surrounding area, or the zone plan. Uh, there are no negative impacts on any improvements. There's no need for additional impervious, so on. All the activities will occur indoors. There's no outdoor activities. Parking is sufficient based on experience, prior testimony, and not exacerbating the variance. Um, 
So in conclusion, I would say there are no substantial impairments to the zone plan. Dental offices are permitted in other zones, just not in this particular zone because of the way the settlement agreement was crafted. And the council has agreed to, has amended the settlement agreement to permit this use. I'm happy to answer any questions. I have none. Any questions? Any questions on the right? No, sir. No. On the left? I don't know. Mr. Chadwick, you okay? Mr. Holloway, you okay? My letter was answered. You had a light evening over there, Mr. Holloway. Oh, one last thing. All the improvements are ongoing. Sorry, Mr. Holloway. Sorry, Mr. Holloway. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Holloway. 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 Thank
Jasper. Yes. Chaplin. Yes. Mozzarella. Yes. Greek. Yes. Ready. Yes. Snyder. Yes. Willing. Yes. Iverson. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Ernie, how was how was this uh, call like this? How, how did it work out? Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Don't eat so many shake jack burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. I don't know how we can control that. Doctor. You, you gotta, you gotta well, just, you, you just gotta, gotta yell out. Yeah. Like I said, I can't see you. That's <laughs> illegal. <laughs> 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 if I have my laptop, I can look at the camera forward and uh, yeah. so, yeah, which I'll try and do it for you. I just want to make the board know that uh, in the future, if there's a situation where you cannot attend the meeting in person and want to participate in the meeting, if you let me know in advance. I will have my daughter set up one of her Zoom calls. Thank you. That's we don't, great. We don't pay for them. My daughter has an account. It's just like a phone call, so we don't need any. And I check with the with the administration, but everything is cool. You too. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Motion to move. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, Bernie. Take care. I'm going to sign you off. Good night. Take care now. Maybe next time. Don't fall in. We're gonna have fun in this. Well, we don't need to use the official. Bring the cookies.